Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. So in today's short video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Google Gemini to uh, write uh, math formulas in LaTeX without writing uh, in LaTeX. So what do I mean? So the other day, I saw this tweet thread from Leo Pachter uh, showing that the thread and SCAMPI's log for change calculation for single cell RNA sequencing data to uh, discover uh, marker genes is uh, disc uh, this discordant as you see in this figure here so the x-axis is the thread lock to flow change and the y-axis is the scan by lock flow change and then you see they are very different and uh, in this thread he in this thread he explains why and and he also uh, did a screenshot of those two formulas which uh, is within those two packages how they calculate the lock to flow change so I wanted to write a blog post uh, on the same topic. So I, but I don't want to write um, those formulas in LaTeX. Uh, so what I did, so I just used uh, Google Gemini. Gemini. So what you do is just do copy this image, and then you go to Google Gemini. So what you do, so Google Gemini it can accept. Uh, multi-model uh, data so it, is, uh, so it can accept pictures as well as a prompt so you just control V and uh, and also write the prompt you want uh, okay so say write the formula in um, markdown format for example so you press enter so Gemini will actually read this uh, picture this image and extract the uh, the formulas and convert it into this R Markdown format. Hmm. Actually, this time it did show me the right. Wait, it's okay. Let me ask it again. Right, the math formula in R mark Markdown format. Actually, previous I tried twice and it worked like a charm. And let's see. So if you can copy paste here, and then then go to our markdown. Now let's like just write open a new. Okay, let's just write here. Example. And then you see actually it nicely rendered, okay? As there's two formulas, which is very nice, okay? So by the way, I already published this blog post in here. I will have the link in the description of this video and walk you through how actually Threat is uh, calculating its full change uh, between different clusters for, for marker genes. And uh, essentially, I think the most up, uh, re uh, up most recent threat version they kind of uh, updated their calculation, and now it's actually very close to uh, the uh, scanpy. Uh, this is the old threat version, and then you see this is uh, very similar to the uh, previous figure showing here. So they're very discordant. Okay, so I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.